everyone, welcome to 2021. Congratulations for making it through 2020. I think we all deserve an award for that. 2020 was a particularly unique year and definitely people's attitudes towards their homes changed during the pandemic. So I think some of the trends that we're gonna see emerging in 2021 will definitely reflect what happened last year. All right, enough talk, let's get started. Gone are the days of straight rigid lines. We are welcoming soft undulating squiggles and organic shapes into our homes. It's through furniture, through artwork, through ceramics, we're gonna be seeing this trend everywhere. It's not new, it's been happening for a while and it's definitely not gonna slow down. A lot of these designs actually evolved from the Art Deco movement, but they're being reimagined and reinvented with a modern twist. If you're in a place where you can't introduce any new furniture to kind of bring these curves into your home, then you you can definitely still introduce this trend by hanging artwork that maybe, for example, has very soft shapes or pieces of sculptural artwork that is kind of soft and abstract. Continuing along the trend of organic shapes, arches are also a shape that we're seeing a lot of, not only in our everyday items like kitchenware and ceramics, but also in our actual architecture in our homes. I really love the way this trend takes a traditional element like the arch and transforms it in a modern way. Obviously changing the structure of your home is not an easy task to undertake, but you can still absolutely incorporate this trend by introducing arch shaped items like some of these ones. You can also paint arch murals behind certain elements in your home that you might want to highlight. More and more, we're gravitating towards, like we said before, soft and rounded shapes, but also furniture that is very kind of comforting and soft to the touch. So fabrics like velvet, mohair, boucle, and faux fur are all materials that we're gonna continue to see a lot of in 2021. This is a very easy trend to incorporate into your home. Of course, you don't need to go out and buy new furniture. You can just put soft throws onto your existing furniture and throw pillows, and that will instantly give that kind of soft texture to whatever space you're adding these elements to. The dominating colors of 2021 will be warm, earthy tones that come from nature. Hues that imitate the sensation of being immersed in nature promote internal peace. And this is so important right now for our mental and physical well-being. 2021 will focus on bringing the tranquility of nature indoors. We will see beiges, grazes, brown, burnt umber, terracotta, warm taupes, sands, nudes, buffs. If you're a color lover and you just can't get on board with the whole neutral earth color thing, we're gonna look at what the world's leading color experts are predicting 2021's colors to be. Pantone 2021 colors of the year are ultimate gray and illuminating. Shades chosen for their warmth and dependability. Benjamin Moore color of the year 2021 is age and teal and it's claimed to be a color that creates natural harmony. Sherwin-Williams color of the year is Urbane Bronze. They say, Urbane Bronze is a hue whose warmth and comfort breathe down-to-earth tranquility. Bear, on the other hand, presents not just one or two colors, but an entire palette containing 21 different colors. According to Architectural Digest, the palette is an ode to elevated comfort and the transformative and healing power of a home that has managed to wear many hats during the pandemic. Rustoleum predicts satin paprika. Glidden's color of the year is aqua fiesta. Ferro and Ball also predicts 12 colors, and Valspar predicts a further 12 shades. Paint is generally such a great way to quickly transform a space and like try out new things, but it can become a pretty big job if you're doing it in a large space, especially if you're doing it yourself. So um, a great way to test out any one of these new colors is for example, by trying it in a small powder room or like a laundry room, for example. I think it's really fun to try bold new things in small spaces that aren't too big of a commitment. Very broadly speaking, Zen refers to meditation. So Zen interiors focus on creating balance, harmony, and feelings of relaxation through a minimalist approach. The way 2021 will incorporate Zen into interiors will be via the Japandi trend. If you've never heard of Japandi, 
It's a hybrid style that combines traditional Japanese interior design elements with Scandinavian design elements. So not to go off topic, but speaking of Japandi, I wanted to briefly touch on the topic of wabi-sabi. Uh, not to be confused with wasabi. <laughs> Wabi-sabi is a Japanese aesthetic and the core concept centers around the acceptance of imperfection. Given how 2020 turned out, I think that this concept resonates more than ever with us right now. A lot of us last year had to make sacrifices and we were forced to look beyond our former, more superficial values. And I think this is kind of a global mood right now and this is actually often where trends and you know design ideas stem from. Humans possess an innate tendency to seek connections with nature. And last year, we were really deprived of that in a lot of ways. So I think that uh, more than ever now, we are trying to bring nature into our homes. This has been happening for a while now with like the huge obsession for plants and greenery. And this is just gonna continue as a trend. Rattan and cane furniture have been skyrocketing in popularity over the past few years, and the trend is still going strong. This trend has expanded to include other natural materials such as cork, bamboo, raw woods, glass, stone, clay, seagrass, and jute and seesaw. You can incorporate natural materials into your home by bringing in items like baskets, woven pendants, incorporating wood where you can, and by using textiles made out of fabrics like linen, organic or recycled cotton, and of course, by bringing in plants. Sustainability shouldn't be a trend, but now more than ever, we're seeing a tendency to seek out uh, items made out of eco-friendly materials and biodegradable plastics and renewable materials. Probably the most eco-friendly way to buy handmade is to buy locally. Not only does this reduce carbon emissions from shipping from abroad or from across the country, but it also helps support your local economy, which is really important right now. If shopping locally maybe isn't available to you, then another excellent way to support uh, buying handmade is on platforms like Instagram and Etsy. There are literally thousands of artists and artisans on these platforms just waiting to be discovered. And to be sustainable, of course, the best way is to recycle, reuse what you have, maybe shop secondhand or shop vintage. Try to do these things before shopping new and see if you can breathe new life into old things. Another nature-inspired trend which has been on the rise for a little while now is the use of pampas grass. There's actually a lot of it where I live and every time I see it, I scream in the car. I'm like, oh my God, I call it puff grass. Anyways, this trend is not stopping at just pampas grass. It's evolving into something more. We're gonna be seeing the use of all sorts of dried foliage inside. The soft neutral hues of dried foliage pair super well with the earthy color palettes that we talked about earlier in the video. The delicate organic shapes fit in perfectly in warm minimalist interiors, which are very on trend right now. In essence, dried foliage is the perfect accent for a 2021 interior. Some honorable mentions for 2021 interior design trends are diamond patterned flooring, herringbone flooring, bold wallpapers, deep green walls, boucle furniture, fluted and textured surfaces, and taupe cabinetry and trim. If you like this video, you know what to do. And in the meantime, I wish you a fantastic 2021 for you and your loved ones and for all of us. We all need it. All right, catch you next time. <laughs>